Don't declutter and organize on an empty stomach. That's a good rule to live by. I'm blown away by the amount of like open space in a like there's there's empty floor you don't need shiny new things to live a simplified life if you hear nothing else in this video i hope you hear that Well, hey everyone, it's Natalie. So glad you stopped by my channel for today's video. Together we are going to declutter, unpack, organize, and really set up my husband's and my shared closet here in our new house. So that makes this the first official episode of Messy to Minimal filmed in the new house. And I thought I'd start it off with what seems to be your guys' favorite decluttering subject, which is a closet, our clothing. So I have my work cut out for me. It's a new space. Things are a little bit different and I'm really excited to jump into this. If you've missed the other Messy to Minimal episodes, I will leave that playlist linked in the description box. This is the series that I've done where I've gotten rid of over 85% of the stuff that we originally started with. We've adopted family minimalism as a guiding principle for this household. And even though this house, this new one has more square footage, it's still just as important to us to keep the space simplified and functioning and to not just fill up the extra room that we have here with a bunch of junk. I'm gonna be taking the minimalist or simple living concepts that I've learned over the last couple of years and apply it to the new places in this house, starting with this closet. So I'm gonna show you a tour of what it's looking like right now, and then we're gonna jump into the unpacking, decluttering, and organizing. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it while you're watching it. Drop this emoji in the comments so I can come say hi, and let's get started. It is, uh, it's a wild mess. <laughs> Certainly bigger than any closet we have ever had in any house. We've never had a walk-in closet, like a room for our clothing. This is, I think that's the wildest part to me, honestly, um, but I'm really excited to get this all organized. So on the floor, you see here, all of my husband's clothing. He also has some clothing up in these boxes, um, but he's just kind of been living off of the floor and out of these boxes for the last week. We've only been here one week, um, and I had other things that took priority to organize, but I'm doing this now. Um, so that's gonna be his dresser. We switched out one of these tall Hemnes dressers from Ikea. We used to have two of these, one for me, one for him, but now that we have all of this room to hang clothing, he prefers to hang clothing. Um, and so he has a shorter dresser that we took out of the boys closet They got the tall one which works out perfectly and my collection of hanged clothing is less So I prefer to have a dresser. So that's what we've got going on in here um, Behind the door here. This is the box that I have been living out of all of this is going to be organized into here um, I do have a box that's half full of like formal clothing and shoes and stuff that uh or like big winter coats and stuff like that that isn't really a part of my like daily stuff that i use or like my capsule wardrobe these shelves are built in i've been using them sort of over this last week as like a linen closet because we don't actually have a dedicated linen closet or a spot for that in this new house so I have some figuring out and strategizing to do, but I have plenty of room to do that in. So my game plan and ultimate goal here in this closet after today is to have everything out of moving boxes. I don't wanna keep any boxes in here. For this first wave of decluttering and organization, my intention is to not buy anything new to not get any special bins or boxes or anything. Because if we could make it work in our old house with the setup that we had there, we can certainly make it work in this space. I just, you guys, I am so grateful for this closet. I just can't believe this is mine. And it's so exciting to have a space like this, but during these exciting times, it can be really tempting to go out and buy shiny new things. I do already have a collection of bins and boxes that I took with us from from the old house that I may repurpose if we have a need here in the new closet. And we do have a shoe rack that Weston was using in our old home gym in our garage in the old house that I will probably actually use for shoes here in this closet. There's really nothing wrong with going out and buying a bin if you need it. And you know what? I might get to a certain point
point in this process and go, oh, I could really use this for that specific spot. We're adapting to the new space. But my goal is to not really buy anything new. So I'm going to start here with my clothing. I think that's the easy win because I know exactly what's here and how I want it to go into my dresser. Weston intended to do this himself, but I offered to do it for him for this video and he was more than happy to take me up on that offer, but I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by what I'm seeing over there. So let's start with the easy win and get my stuff done first. Okay, we are looking good in here. I was able to get everything into my drawers and I actually found quite a few things to declutter out of like my loungewear, workout wear, um, pajama sort of category. So I'll show you that in a bit. I'll also show you the organization in these drawers and like where I ended up putting everything toward the end of this video when I give you like the final tour. I have more stuff to work on that needs to get hung up, but I think now I'm going to move on to Weston's stuff. I think I'm going to rearrange the layout of where we have these dresses but first I need to pull everything out of this closet. I'm gonna kind of KonMari it because the pile of his clothing, it's just in the way. And I think I need kind of a clean slate to be able to put the stuff back in. And uh, here's, here's a little secret. Weston has probably double the clothing that I have. Now, I am not throwing shade to him. He enjoys clothing a lot more than I do. He enjoys shopping for clothing a lot more than I do. I think as a very fit, handsome, athletic guy, there's a lot less negative emotions attached to shopping for clothing <laughs> than there is for me or us women in general. Um, and also, Weston works a job that needs a separate set of clothing than like his everyday clothing. So the stuff he wears to work, he can't really wear in his everyday life and vice versa. So he's one of those people, as I know several of you are, who has a separate wardrobe for different parts of their life. And that's totally okay. It just makes it a little bit more challenging to get through everything. another person's stuff, when in doubt, ask them. If you're confused on how to organize something or what would work best for them, give them a call. Hey, hun. Hey, I'm sorting through your clothes and I just need some clarification on what is like uh, workout stuff and what is just like your lounge stuff. <laughs> And I'm back. You didn't even know that I left. <laughs> I picked up my daughter from her morning class and I'm making some good progress in here. I was starting to feel a little burnt out, but then I realized it was because I was hungry. Don't declutter and organize on an empty stomach. That's a good rule to live by. Uh, but now my tummy's happy and I am going to start putting Weston's clothing in the drawers. I don't know how much I'm gonna do before he gets home and he might help me finish off the project. In fact, I would love that because then he would kind of like have the final say with his stuff. Can you tell Haley's home? The decibel level in this house significantly elevates when that little girl is home. I love it so much. Come on, children.
said I wasn't going to buy anything new. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of at an impasse right now. Um, and when I do my decluttering videos, I just share the reality of it. So my intention was to not buy any new bins or anything like that. What I do need though are hangers. Here's the deal. We don't have enough hangers to hang the clothing that Weston wants up there that used to be in his tall dresser, the stuff that was folded. And I know so many of you are gonna laugh at this and I'm chuckling to myself because in a recent decluttering video, I showed you guys a huge stack of these velvet hangers that represented how much stuff we had decluttered out of our closet. And I held on to like five or six of them, but I gave them away to a friend. And um, you know, we've always wanted to upgrade to wooden hangers. I don't really like the velvet hangers, not a big fan of them, and we have had this goal in mind, like once we get our closet figured out and our inventory under control, which I'm totally feeling like I'm, I'm there with my clothing, then we will upgrade to the more expensive but nicer and ultimately better for your clothing wooden hangers. So I ordered wooden hangers from Target and they have really good reviews. Um, I'm not gonna stand here and justify it to you guys. This is real life. And like I said in the beginning, if I get to the point where I do find that I need to get something, then I'm gonna buy it. There's nothing wrong with buying something that you actually need. Pitfall for a lot of people, myself included, is to go out and buy stuff before you actually evaluate what you need. So now that I've evaluated, I made an order at Target, and uh, we're gonna go pick it up in a little bit so that I can resume organizing and hanging stuff on, but there's not really much more that I can do right now because I'm into just hanging clothing at this point. So that just goes to show you, don't let anyone on the internet or in your real life tell you what's best for you, myself included. If someone says cube units don't work, but you love using cube unit storage for your home, you do you. And doing me today is buying brand new wood hangers for my closet. Let's go to Target. Okay, I am back from Target and I've got the goods. So I'm gonna get these uh, hangers out of the boxes, start rehanging stuff. This will probably turn into a two day project. I wanted to get it all done today, but life happens. My trip to Target took a lot longer. Got home, kids needed dinner. You know the drill. You can try, you can try to change us. Do your best, do your best to change us. We don't, we don't care. You can try, you can try to change us. my helper Judah here with me. He's picking up all the velvet hangers off the floor and putting them in a box so that we can give them to a friend. I'm gonna ask my same friend if she wants more and if she doesn't, then I'll offer them to family. And if they don't want it, I'll donate them. So this project definitely lasted longer than just the first day that I started working on it. In fact, over the next several days, I popped in here for 10 to 30 minutes at a time. Weston was out of town for a couple of days and so I was able to stay up late one night and get some other stuff organized in the closet and put it all together. So I have Weston 
his shoes here on this door rack. He actually reminded me that we got this for our old garage. We were gonna store some gym equipment on it. We never assembled it because the day after we bought it, we actually decided to move. Um, and so he dug up that box for me and I was able to put this together for him. It's the perfect solution for his shoes. Other shoe organizers are really short. Um, for like men's shoe sizes and this one is good. I can't remember where I got it right now But I will look for the link for you guys if you're looking for something like that My shoes I think are going to go toward the bottom of this I'm going to tidy this up and just put some of my shoes and maybe some accessories Okay, some of you are going to recognize these baskets that I have here. All over the house in our old home, we had some cube units over the years, and I loved these wicker baskets that I put into them. They have a really homey feel, but those cube units I ended up moving on from or donating or giving to family and friends, but the baskets I've kept several of, and these are perfect for organizing some of the stuff that I'm going to put at the top of this closet. Even though these baskets are not brand new, a lot of them are kind of fraying a little bit and the frames of them have been kind of warped and battered, they still work just fine. And like I said earlier, you don't need shiny new stuff in order to have a simplified life and an organized home. I am grateful for those new hangers though. That was definitely something that I was in need of but new boxes, new bins and baskets, don't need any of those because I already had some on hand to repurpose for this space. All righty, I think I am finally ready to fix the squeaky door, but to also show you what I did here in the closet. So I finished organizing and arranging and decluttering this closet over a week ago. So I think we've had eight or nine days of living in this space, using this arrangement in our closet, and I've made little changes here and there, um, but I feel like in a world of before and afters here on YouTube or on TV, things look so crisp and beautiful and Pinterest worthy in the afters that we sometimes can lose perspective on what real life before and afters look like. So I wanted to give myself a few extra days to kind of live in the space so that you guys see sort of the lived in after. But other than a couple of socks on the floor and some empty hangers, maybe a couple of things out of place or not perfectly folded inside the drawers, things are looking really good and I am so happy with how this turned out. So let me give you a little tour. Okay, so I'm standing back here by the door. I kind of did a his and hers thing like you saw. Weston has a lot more hanging clothing than I do, so his clothing definitely takes up most of our uh, rack here. Um, I have some coats and jackets for him, sweatshirts. I have his nicer pairs of pants hanging here. And then I had this little shoe organizer thing that I had in the boys' old room, and I just repurposed it for Weston's hats to kind of give a solution to this awkward corner. He has tanks and tees, uh, long sleeve tees, button up shirts, and then we progressively get a little bit more nice or like formal. And then we get into my stuff, which we will look at in a second. I just wanted to show you his drawers really quick. So this one is loungewear, and then we have socks and underwear, which there's a sock in the wrong spot. So you go back there again, it's lived in. We've got stuff in the wrong spot. We've got some empty hangers, but that's okay. That's real life. This drawer is designated for his go-to work clothing. Um, so work pants, work shirts. And then this drawer is probably his favorite because this dude loves to work out. Gym shirts, gym shorts. That's what's in his drawers, pretty basic. <laughs> he actually didn't put his backpack up. He was out of town for a couple of days, packed a bag and then left it on the floor. 
it goes up there. So we'll have to do that. Um, but back around to the stuff that I have hanging, just like Weston has formal stuff in this corner. I have a couple of my formal dresses in this spot too. I just figured with the corner kind of mashing into each other like this, that my least accessed clothing or his least accessed clothing are formal stuff because we really don't wear it very often. It made the most sense to just kind of have right there next to each other. I have some business wear, some nice shirts, a couple of dresses, and then as we get farther this way, this is more of like my capsule wardrobe stuff, so stuff that I'm currently wearing in season. And just like Weston, I have a couple of empty hangers because I'm wearing clothing. Speaking of hangers, oh my gosh, we have been so happy with these. They have these nice little grips, which I didn't even realize they had. They're not rubbery. They're just like notches in the wood. Mm -hmm. And it really helps grip the, the shoulder of the shirts or sweaters or whatever it is that we're hanging up. There's just something so satisfying about just seeing the wooden hangers that I really enjoy. Over here at my dresser, I have just a few things on top, some perfumes. I'd like to do like little floating shelves or something here and just kind of stack up my perfumes because I'm a perfume girl and if you want to take my minimalist card away from me because I have so many perfumes, you go right ahead. I'm going to continue to live my good smell in life. <laughs> with no apology. Um, I have just some jewelry here. This is pretty much all the jewelry I own. Um, a bin for socks. And then in my drawers, I have bras, underwear, <laughs> um, and I need to kind of rub down these drawers with some Goo Gone because the tape that I put over them for when we moved kind of stuck there and now there's lint on them. Um, but these are my drawers. I don't like to hang my crew neck sweaters, so I just have them in here. There's one that's missing because it's in the wash, so I have those in this section. I have my plain t-shirts, uh, long sleeve toward the back, short sleeve and tank toward the front. And then I have my graphic tees here and a couple of bodysuits in this small section here. And this is my pants drawer, which means I have denim here, non-denim pants or like colored pants here, and then I have my collection of shorts, which of course is very out of season for where we live, but it's still nice to have all of like the bottoms be in the same drawer just like I did all of the tops in the same drawer. The next drawer down is pretty much the same as what I had in the last house. Some workout wear, some pajamas, some lounge wear here, um, like leggings and sweatshirts and that sort of thing. Um, and then this bottom drawer is new. In the old house, our main bedroom was also an office space. And so the bottom drawer was designated for some of that sort of thing. But I have an office in this house, which I'm so, so grateful for. And that freed up this bottom drawer for work clothing. So my grubbiest shirts, my ripped up jeans that I'll wear out in the garden. We have homestead plans for this place. So I definitely need just a couple of pieces of clothing to wear to do the grubbiest work around here. Um, and then I also have this bin for my swimwear. So that is everything in my drawers. And then I just have a little section of coats here. I actually moved the dresser over this way about six inches to give myself this hanging space for my coats. Here is where I um, put some shoes. I got to clean those up. I got some mud on the back of them, but I have my muck boots, my leather Chelsea boots, my everyday Birkenstocks that I wear around. I can't find my other black Adidas shoe. Don't know what happened to that, but I'm still on the lookout. And then this shelf above is more of my like formal or dressier shoes, some black velvet loafers, my black pointed toe flats, my black heels. And then I have a bin of sandals and formal shoes that are only really appropriate for like the warmer months. So I just have those tossed in there. I have this bin for hats and then I have my wide brimmed hats just sitting there. I know it's not Pinterest worthy, but it fits there, so it's going there. Um, this next shelf up here, this empty one, this is my linen like bath towel shelf. You can just imagine four 
neatly rolled white bath towels, which are now in the laundry because it's been a week. And then on this top shelf, I just have the little wire bins with hand towels, face towels, and then some extra bed linens that I have there for the household. At first I thought I would put the linens lower down so the kids could access them, but then I envisioned having shoes and like any dirt like falling down on our clean linens and that just that wasn't working for me so I'm glad I thought to do this where I can just kick off my shoes put them on the floor call them good I have some shoe sanitizer down here that I use too and speaking of shoes this shoe rack that we were going to use in the old gym is actually working out really well for Weston's shoes he's very happy with it he's never been so good about putting his shoes away so sometimes it's not that there's a bad habit but that there's not a good solution to the problem and I think this is a really good solution put all of his shoes on this rack and then he came home from being out of town and he looked at his collection and went wow I have a lot of shoes I actually think I can get rid of that pair and that pair and that pair I think he got rid of four pairs total it is nice to have the shoe rack and we're actually using it for shoes, which isn't why we bought it, but I'm glad we had it. And I'm glad Weston remembered that we had it and I didn't have to go out and buy anything new to organize his shoes. Also glad I didn't have to buy anything new with these baskets up here. Like I shared with you, I already had these from the old house and they're the perfect solution for some of the stuff that we store up there. So I will end off this tour by showing you what is in those baskets or or telling you what's in the baskets because I'm not climbing up there to get them down to show you what's in them. And yes, I do wanna get labels for these. I actually have a Cricut on its way to my house and I think I'm gonna be making some cute labels for these, but I've got travel bags in here. I have extra purses, so like a larger purse and then a medium sized purse. I usually just carry a really small purse that's in there and then i have my dance and theater shoes in this little bin some ballet slippers and character shoes some tap shoes in there um that's from another life but i have the room to store it so i'm holding on to those those are very special to me and then weston has a bin of like shoe care so like leather care shoe cleaner that sort of thing a bin of what we call weston's weird clothing he has some like <laughs> santa pants boxers um, a goofy light up sweatshirt and some like costumey goofy stuff that he wears like in the holiday season and then some of his travel accessories and like packing bags and stuff like that in this one and then his backpack of course which I showed you needs to go up there that is the tour and honestly I am so happy with how this is functioning for us and how it turned out. Before I go, I just wanted to show you what we're decluttering out. I'm not gonna go through everything here, but it's this large box worth. Um, there's some garbage in here as well as stuff that we're gonna donate, so I, I need to sort through everything. Um, but like I showed you, Weston got rid of several pairs of shoes, which is great. I found a few of my own pieces of clothing that I'm ready to get rid of. These gray bins are the ones that I swapped out for the wicker ones that I showed you. So those are going to go back out to the garage for a future organization or decluttering project. Um, and then this box is full of stuff that I put together for Weston to go through. This is just the I have no idea where you want this crap sort of box. And he is going to go through this collection of stuff. But all in all, a good amount of stuff that is not going to end up in the closet, which makes me so happy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for coming along with me while I did a declutter and reorganization, a messy to minimal of our new closet. I've shared so many clothing declutter videos with you guys before, and I feel like each step of the way, I just learned something new either about myself or about simple living or just how to create a closet that really works for me. And I'm just, I'm blown away by the amount of like open space in a, like there's, there's empty floor. Just makes my heart go pitter patter. Um, but I am not interested in really expanding my collection now that I have more space. The number of clothing that I had in the old closet wasn't necessarily because the closet was smaller than this one. It was because it was what worked for me and my personality and the way my brain works and my lifestyle. So other than a few pieces of like grubby clothing like I was sharing earlier, I don't think that there's really anything that I need 
more. Certainly not because I have more space. So I am so happy with how this turned out and the progress that we made in here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, especially if you enjoy realistic lived in before and afters. Let me know what you prefer. Are you one of those people that just wants it to be as satisfying as possible and you want those sparkly Pinterest worthy before and afters? Or do you appreciate a nice lived in after? Let me know. Be sure to say hello in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and be sure to turn the bell button on to all notifications. That way you don't miss any of my regular Monday uploads. And I've been able to film so much in this new house that I've had bonus videos from time to time. So turn your bell button on so you don't miss when those go out. I have a lot more decluttering, organization, and unpacking to do in this house. I think the pantry is going to be next and you won't want to miss that video. So I hope to see you back here for more. Thank you so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel and I'll catch you later. Bye.